Well, hello, and welcome back. I promised when I built this computer in January, I would come back and do a video on this. And what this is, it's the AMD Boot Kit. And if you're not familiar with that, it is any AM4 Ryzen compatible motherboard. Um, so right now that's any A320, B350, X370, or uh, B450, an X470, I believe, uh, motherboard, and then obviously third generation coming soon, um, you run into potentially um, some BIOS recognition issues with newer CPUs and older boards. So that is to say, if you're running a first gen Ryzen, like a 1700, you should be able to run that in any Ryzen compatible motherboard that exists now. Hey buddy. Or that is upcoming <laughs> through the end of 2020. However, if you've got a Ryzen 2000 series part and you've got a board like this, which is an A320 Prime, which is pretty much as cheap as you can get a Ryzen compatible um, motherboard, or you've got a B350, which is basically this sort of form factor, but it supports overclocking and has another uh, pair of DIMM slots, or an X370, which is the hoochie mama of the first gen Ryzen motherboards. Uh, if you buy a second gen part like a Ryzen 2200G or 2600X, or a 27, or a, yeah, 2700 even, um, you're gonna put that CPU into your first gen Ryzen motherboard and it won't be recognized. You won't get a post, the computer will turn on, but you won't get any video, you won't get any beeps, nothing. So the solution to that is either uh, buy a pre-flashed motherboard, which exists uh, from certain resellers, uh, or you can borrow or purchase a AMD A8 series processor, which is uh, first gen Ryzen compliant, and uh, you can then socket that in your motherboard, uh, boot with it, update the BIOS, um, and most of these boards have internet compatible BIOSes now, so really as long as you can boot it into the BIOS and flash it with an ethernet cord, you should be good to go. Uh, this board is an A320 Prime, like I mentioned. This actually has an Athlon 200 GE in it now, so this board has been flashed. I'm just using it for illustration purposes, because when I bought it, it did not work with a Ryzen 2200G that I was going to put into this build. So, assuming you don't want to spend money for a second processor right off the bat, what do you do? Well, AMD has a really, really cool program called the Boot Kit. What that is, so you just go to AMD's website and be like, yo, I've got an A320 or a B350 or an X370 motherboard, and I just bought one of your brand spanking new whatever it is. And you can even do that for the 2200 GE, or sorry, the 200 GE, <laughs> which is their cheapest Ryzen 2 sort of platform processor, which is what's in here. And I actually used this processor, serial number and receipt to get this boot kit, even though I have plenty of second gen Ryzen hardware kicking around. So you go to their website, go to the customer support tab, and literally all you do is write them a generic email about hardware support, explain that, and what they will do is they will get back to you. And the first thing they're gonna ask for is, okay, no problem. Uh, give me a sales receipt, give me a photo of your box, which has the serial number for the chip on it, and then show me a photo of your socketed CPU. So in this case, pardon, uh, this is the A8 series, but what they're looking for is the serial number, which is, oh, there it is. They're looking for that number right there in a photo. And then uh, all I did was sent them a photo of the cooler on the board. Um, it was pretty much just like that. And then a PDF of my receipt from, I think Micro Center is where I bought this 200 GE from. And they were, they were good to go. They just mailed this second day air to me. I did slice open the box, but I haven't opened it yet. I cut the packing slip out of it. Um, and I just, uh, yeah, I don't know. So, Sorry, my hands are so filthy. I was working on some cars earlier. So, I'm expecting this is probably gonna be an A8. I forget. I used the nice, or 9600. This is my CPU here, the one I actually bought to flash an older board. Um, that's a quad core. Uh, they usually ship dual cores. Except they shipped me a quad core <laughs> for a boot kit. Um, okay. 
yeah, these are usually the dual core A8 CPUs, and there's no return information here. Uh, okay, so what the bootkit program is, oh no, I just spilled some beer. Hold on one second. So anyway, sorry. As I was saying, uh, these aren't a permanent, I'm gonna give you a processor for free because I feel bad, yo. Uh, this is, we're gonna send you a processor use it to flash your system, and then send us just the CPU in this back. As you can see, A8-9600. However, I didn't get any instructions in my email, nor did I get anything in the package for sending this back. So I wonder if the bootkit program is coming to an end, and I wonder if they are just clearing out a bunch of old hardware. If so, I might have just gotten a 47-ish dollars, probably what they're going for if you're doing really, really well uh, CPU right now. These have been discontinued in favor of the 200-220-240 GE Athlon processors. So, uh, I guess stand by on that one. I'll let you know if they ask for it back, but in the meantime, assume that I've just got a second A8. I guess I'll do another build with it. Um, but yeah, that's the boot kit program in a nutshell it's really really cool that that exists and it's not as big a deal now as it was about a year ago when the second gen ryzen chips launched and the you know the majority of boards on the market that supported these things were the first gen chipsets so there you go that's boot kit in a nutshell um, if you've got one of these older boards or you want to build one of these budget 1080p 60 uh, gaming rigs like my january video Highly suggest you look at a B350 or an A320 motherboard, depending on what your needs are, and just using that, because if the bootkit program's still around, or you just go with this CPU, which I actually tested, and it's really good, um, you know, it's a no-brainer. So hopefully that filled in a little bit of gray area or, you know, informed you of a program that you might not have even known about, but I thought it was pretty cool, especially cool that it even worked on the 200GE program, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.